Once the carrier is assembled, it can be placed onto the roof bars. Adjust the length of the carrier to suit your roof bars and tighten the bolt tight as shown. Repeat the adjustment at the other side. Set the offside front and rear clamp bolts with about 6mm of play to allow the carrier to slide. Draw the carrier towards yourself until it hits the stops and lower it onto the side of the car. With the tandem alongside the car, secure the front wheel to the down tube with the tow strap provided. Lift the tandem up and locate the bottom tube onto the two tandem supports. Adjust the rear arm to where it best fits the seat post or seat tube. Locate the J-bolt through a hole best suited to the seat tube and run the wing nut up finger tight. The bolts on the rear arm must be tightened securely. Repeat the procedure on the front arm, locating the J-bolt to best suit the down tube or head tube. Run the wing nut up, finger tight, and make sure the front arm bolts are tightened securely. Fit the supplied tow strap round the bottom tube and the carrier. Grasp the carrier uprights, pivot the carrier level with the roof bars and slide it across like closing a drawer. Secure the clamp bolts at each corner, finger tight. And finally, tighten the four cross-member bolts. Now the tandem is securely loaded, we are ready for any journey. Once the carrier has been set up to suit your tandem, no further setting up is required, unless you change your vehicle or tandem. On arrival at our destination, the tandem can be easily unloaded in a matter of minutes.
the tandem is now ready to ride away, with no adjustments required. The two remaining clamp bolts need slackening off to enable complete removal of the carrier. The carrier can be placed across the rear seat footwell for security.